now the bell is ready as the riders swing into the home straight. Hilly would like the lead for Corny, trying to hold him away from it. But now Darren is going to use a bit of weight to lean on for Corny as he takes him out. And the Corny rides up off his line and sits up. It's all over. It's all over. Darren Hill is taking a lap of honor. He gets the bronze medal. Darren Hill is a third in the men's sprint at 10.927. Pacorni knew halfway round he wasn't going to do it. Pacorni did everything right with a lap and a half to go. Darren Hill did things the hard way. The crowd here, they've erupted. He's a big star here in Perth. A standing ovation for Darren Hill. The bronze medal at these World Championships. The final is between the two best riders in recent years, and so it should be Jens Fiedler, the double Olympic gold medalist, who in Sydney hopes he can make it the only time a sprinter has won three Olympic golds. The other man who nearly succeeded, by the way, was Lutz Heslick of Germany, when it was Eastern Germany at the time. And he's up against uh, Florian Rousseau, who is one up in this final. And Florian Rousseau, full of confidence, full of speed. One heat away from defending his world championship. A bit savage there at the start. Fiedler will certainly try something different. Russo, tremendous top end speed. The perfect bike rider for sprinting. One kilometre Olympic champion. And then switching to the sprint event. Already one gold medal at these championships for the Olympic sprint. Just forced into, uh, or obligated to take the, the lead for the first lap. One really doesn't know, Gary, how to tell Jens to ride this man, because nobody knows how to ride him, do they? Probably right, Phil, but if there's anyone that can do something different, this is the man, the Olympic sprint champion. He's a big time, big time bike rider, big time sprinter. And he's starting to use the uh, the banking there. Russo's starting to move high as well. Leaves himself a little bit open. And Jens Fiddler, he tries something different, but I don't think he can pull it off from here. But he's got the gap, and that's the way to do it. It's an awful long way to go, and that's brought the crowd out of the seats as Jens Fiedler tries to hold him. You know, I've got a feeling that Russo might say I've made a mistake, and he's going to let him go. One lap to go now, Jens Fiedler, the Olympic champion, the master of surprise, could well reverse the situation here. Look at the face of Russo, he's coming back. Russo is into his stream. Russo is the champion of the world and deserves every bit of that gold medal. But that was a most brilliant, brilliant sprint in the end. Jens Fiedler, I take my hat off to him, but in the end, the best man was totally unstoppable. Well, you're right, he is unstoppable. Look at the crowd, again the crowd, showing their appreciation here. Russo defending his World Spring Championship. I thought there, with one and a half to go, he had no chance of uh, catching food like A tremendous burst of speed down the back straight. The world champion, Russo from France, beating Jens Fiddler, the Olympic champion, and full credit to Fiedler.